Rahul Varma, let's take a look at Delhi. In 2019, the BJP swept uh, Delhi, won all seven seats with a 50% margin uh, or 50% vote share. Do you believe that AAP and Congress coming together can change equations? Uh, again, uh, uh, it's difficult. So in 2019, the BJP vote share in Delhi was 57%. Uh, the Congress vote share was 22% and Aam Aadmi Party vote share was 18%. In most seats, because that was a triangular contest, BJP won by a margin of 22 to 20, uh, 25 to 30% vote share. So these two parties coming together, assuming that the same vote share holds, BJP has a 17% lead. Mm -hmm. Now, where these two parties coming together and if they manage to generate a momentum, a uh, couple of seats might get uh, tough for BJP. So what we might see is a closer contest compared to past, but you cannot at this moment say that uh, uh, that AP and Congress have come together, they'll be able to sweep B uh, Delhi. But Sanjay Kumar, at least it does change the perceptional index. The fact that two parties that were otherwise at war with each other coming together does give the impression that the India alliance can take shape. If Arvind Kejriwal and Congress can come together, then who knows? Yeah, Rajdeep, two things. Why an alliance of Amadi Party and Congress in Delhi is more important compared to what we saw uh, in UP? Because in UP, what has happened? This kind of an alliance was tested earlier also, and this alliance got defeated badly. Mm -hmm. So in people's perception is that even if this alliance is in place, they won't be able to defeat the BJP because such an alliance happened earlier also in 2017 assembly election, and we all know what happened to that alliance. But in Delhi, this is the first time Amami Party and Congress is coming uh, into an alliance. Yes, if you look at the vote share estimate, Rahul is right that it seems very, very difficult for the Amami Party and Congress alliance to pull seats away from BJP. But a perception will get, has been created that both the parties can come together. They have finally managed to form an alliance, work out a seat-sharing arrangement. So there is a positive narrative building in this favor of this alliance, mm -hmm. which will also swing some votes in favor of this alliance. So this perception is going to be very, very important. Mm -hmm. I think the alliance needs to build upon this perception. Whether they will be able to do that in the next couple of months or not, that time will say. You know, Priyanka Kakkar, is this an alliance based on desperation that uh, Arvind K. Jiwal has now realized that Ekla Chalore is not going to work. And interestingly, in Punjab, you're going to fight alone against each other. But in Delhi, you've come together almost for survival, particularly with the AAP being hounded, uh, as the AAP claims, by the agencies. Good evening to everyone, Rajdeep Ji. Rajdeep Ji, what desperation. We are three times winner in the Vidhan Sabha elections. We just ousted the BJP after 15 years of misrule in the MCD. We have been constantly gaining ground in Delhi. Uh, the, the figures quoted by the spokesperson previously before me, well, there's a, you know, in 2019, the household savings hadn't dropped to a 50%, which also goes against BJP now. In 2019, the CAG report hadn't exposed the several scams, which the, you know, there is a Soneka Sadak in Dwarka Expressway, which, which, is, uh, which is for all to see now. Several things have changed since 2019. And this alliance is for the greater good, is to save the constitution, the constant attack on democracy, like we saw in the Chandigarh mayor election, which proved that was the first India alliance contest. And we saw what the results, and we saw what BJP tried to do. And... We fought it tooth and nail and we won the elections. So that was, the, that was just a you're, you're precursor to what lies ahead, I would think. You're saying it is to save the constitution, but Rohan Gupta, look at how things change. Till about a year ago, you were calling, even less than that, you were saying that Arvind Kejriwal is a B team of the BJP. When he went into Gujarat, for example, your home state, you said that he's a B team of the BJP. Suddenly... Arvind Kejriwal is breaking bread with the Congress and the two of you are likely to tie up both in Gujarat and in Delhi. What, what, is this an alliance of desperation? Where is the chemistry that is needed between a Kejriwal and indeed the Congress leadership? Rajdeep, right now the issue is to save democracy. That is the biggest issue. The way 
Democracy has been killed in this country. You have seen in Chandigarh. This is the ultimate example. India has never seen in last 77 years of our independence these kind of scenes which is killing our democracy. When democracy is at stake, I think all the differences of the party, whether major or minor, you have to put them aside and come together. This is the pure display of absolute power by no, BJP. Did, and we have no, no, but did nine months ago you called him the B team of the BJP. Suddenly he becomes your friend. Because because, no, absolutely, because at the time uh, Gujarat elections were there, when Amadmi party fought the election, it resulted into division of vote. If you see Gujarat, 49% of the vote is anti-BJP, even now, Rajdeep. When BJP has won 156 in Gujarat, even now, BJP vote share is only 51%. So, 49% of the share in Gujarat is anti-BJP. And when these two parties come together, obviously, it is going to give, uh, you know, nightmares to BJP. Here, Rajdeep, again, I'm telling you, whether it is Chandigarh, when, mm -hmm. when Congress Party and Amadmi they came together, they won Chandigarh uh, mayor elections. And this is the example of how if the opposition votes unite, whether it is SP Congress in UP or Amadmi Party and uh, Congress Party in uh, Delhi and other states, or maybe West Bengal or other states, I think that will give a strong reply to BJP number right. one and strong alternative to people. I'll tell you actually what BJP has done. It is trying to convince people by this 400 plus narrative that there is no opposition to BJP and anybody who is talking against BJP or voting against BJP, the vote has been wasted and there is no meaning of voting. That kind of perception was BJP is trying to build. India Alliance, after forming alliance state by state, this perception will go down and people will see, yeah, there is a strong alliance which is fighting BJP. Let us go and vote for them. So this do is it, do it, no, okay, you made your point. You made your point. Two in Sina respond. You see, perception, particularly of the AAP Congress, as I said at the start of this segment, is that now two parties that were opposed to each other possibly have now come together and they could consolidate that vote. They could consolidate, for example, a tribal vote to some extent in Gujarat. They could consolidate minority community votes uh, in, in Delhi. They may reach out to middle class groups. This is a could be... Uh, an alliance you should worry about. Well, Rajdeep, it is a compulsive and unnatural alliance in the same way that the Congress shifts in our alliance w was. You know, just a few weeks ago, Bhagwant Man had basically ridiculed the Congress party saying, Ek thi Congress. So basically, mm -hmm. Congress has swallowed its self-respect because it knows that, you know, individually, if they, the two parties had fought against BJP in Delhi, they would have lost their deposits. Now they would you know, perhaps uh, the cost incurred would be less because they would be putting a joint candidate and maybe they would not lose the deposit. See, fact is with a 57% vote share, we have nothing to lose. Delhi votes on national issues. Both of these parties with the kind of corruption they have uh, indulged in have no local standi, you know, to, to compete with BJP, at least at the national level. So, so none of this worries you, the fact that a clever political practitioner like Arvind Kejriwal joined hands with the Congress doesn't worry you at all, Are you, not just for 2024, but building up for the future? You, you believe that this is an alliance of contradictions, am I correct? Well, he's... Well, he's clever for you, for us. He's the most mediocre politician who has fooled the people, who has cheated them with the, with the kind of promises that he made in 2011 of bringing about transformation in society and then indulging in the worst form of corruption. I think, you know, he has... Uh, Aam Aadmi Party is the biggest scam in the country. But having said that, one seat in Gujarat mm -hmm. or one seat in Assam, how does it make up a winnable alliance? You know, you, you have been a seasoned journalist. How does one seat in Gujarat lead to, to consolidation of votes? I okay. mean, that is something, they, yeah. any which way, if you, if you look at the assembly election results, both of them, it's about both Congress and Aam Aadmi Party were mauled. They were decimated. Okay. You know, uh, Priyanka Kakkar, there is a point in what Tuin Sinha says. Two seats here, one seat here. Let's even say the seven seats of Delhi. Uh, the fact is that it appears that you all are cr clutching at straws here. You are hoping against hope that all your votes consolidate, the entire anti-BJP vote consolidates, and that doesn't happen too often. Is this Amadmi party trying to retain its national relevance? It's about relevance. You all want to stay relevant. That's why you've gone and tied up with the Congress, the very Congress that Mr. Kejriwal at one time would call corrupt. After winning Delhi thrice, uh, Punjab with a historical mandate, uh, you know, going into Gujarat 
अब भाजपा के गढ़ में सेंध मारना कमिंग फोर्टी टू कमिंग सेकेंड ऑन फोर्टी टू सीट इन गुजरात वी हैव अ मेयर इन मध्य प्रदेश वी हैव क्वाइट अ लार्ज संगठन इन सेवरल अदर स्टेट इंक्लूडिंग असम हरियाणा आई डोंट थिंक दैट इट रीक्स ऑफ एनी डेस्पोरेशन वी आर द फास्टेस्ट ग्रोइंग फास्टेस्ट इवॉल्विंग पार्टी I should ask Tuhin, why does Mr. Modi need Besaki? You know, वो तो अकेले बहुत थे. Why is he he looking for clutches everywhere? Imagine he needs to take the Sahara of O.P. Rajbhar ji, who called him a sand. He has to go back back to Mr. O.P. Rajbhar. Why is that? Why is why such desperation on part of the NDA? Why such desperation on part of the NDA that the original naturally corrupt. Mm-hmm. NCP is now a part of the NDA. Why such desperation? Okay.